Hey y'all, hey, it's me, V the CPS Scholar. Woo. I just I'm happy to be alive in here because I just got off a flight. I don't even know what the I'm glad we made it to the ground. But anyway, <laughs> hope this video finds y'all happy and blessed. Um, I am going, I want to do a quick chat about Love is Blind. I did watch episode 10 and 11. Um it was a whole lot of fast forwarding going on, but it was the weddings and, and uh, what did they call it? A Hindu and a stag do party, which is a bachelorette party over there across the pond. Um, but who cares? Let's talk about who actually got married, who didn't get married. So spoiler, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, baby. So um, what's his name? Sam and Sabrina, baby. Of course, they said yes. They've been locked in since the show, since they met outside the pods. But baby, Sabrina took away that bang and got somebody to do that makeup. She looked, she looked good. Her and Sam look amazing. Bridgerton, Bridgerton style. The the Royals ain't got nothing on them. <laughs> they looked really good. Um, and they both said yes. Boom. We happy. We had, uh, let's see, who, who what's the next couple we won really? Who we didn't give a damn about, really? Anyways, they went into um, Tom and Maria. Maria looked stunning and amazing as a bride. Her sister and her niece looked good. The mama came there and was loving on Tom. Say, call me mom. And y'all, Tom is the real villain of the show. Tom is trash. Rubbish. Needs to be put in the bin. Y'all hear me? Y'all been working on my British slang. But anyway, he's total rubbish. Um, He got up there telling Maria she's beautiful. He loved her. Only to get his behind up there and say no. Talking about, oh, um, I don't want if I have a little boy that she teach him that he actually has to provide for his family. And a little girl, I don't want her not to know how to contribute because someone's taking care of her. It sounds good on paper what he said, but it was crap. He didn't respect that she was a makeup artist. And once he saw Tosh, he was all in. He said, if it ain't, <laughs> if it ain't YT, it ain't right. And he was all in. When she put on her little lip gloss at that meet and greet, Tom said, Maria, who and what? Maria, you dodged a bullet, even though she said she was sad and everything. Oh, my gosh. Okay, who I'm going to do next? Bobby and Jasmine. Jasmine with uh, the mother-in-law from Heck. Beautiful, but very mean, very scary. Said something slick about uneducated people. Said, um, was asking Bobby all these questions. Barely acknowledged him. They get up to the front. And um, they were the... Were they the last one? No. Um, they get up to the front and... They, them people love each other. They 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 spill the tea together. They live it up. Them people love each other. Bobby's like an artist, I guess. They get up there. She He said some beautiful stuff to her. Even the mama-in-law even gave her away to him, and they hugged. So I guess it was all good. Um, they both said yes. It was beautiful. I loved it. Um, but Naya, uh, what Jesse Wu called him the homeless BG. Um, random guys, random thoughts call him. Home, home is homeless, beat baby Jesus. Does he look like homeless? Whatever, but I guess we've got a fit behind that. But Benaya and Nicole, I guess her daddy, who the one who looked like a temptation slash little Richard last time, decided he he said you've been married before, and I ain't here to see this again. But I love the decor. She looked beautiful. He looked happy as heck. They got up to the front, and they both weird. And she promised to take take care of him and allow him to ride her couch for the rest of their lives. They said yes. Ooh, who else we got? We got, um, I guess we could do Ollie and Demi. Ollie and Demi. Demi look good, y'all. Demi look good. They put a nice little ponytail draped down her back. The makeup was nice. She looked like she lost a little weight. Not that that matters. She's she's a pretty girl regardless. Ollie was went up there. He looked good. You know, they say he looked like Craig David, but every time he does something strange, he claimed he, he had have ADHD, and that's why he be acting like that. No, you might have that. Fully might be the truth, but you also got a wandering eye, and you get paid to tell lies. You a whole salesman, and that's what you've been doing on this show. People can't figure out if you like Demi or not. Um... Got up there, and they said, will you take this person? And Demi said, no, nah, no thank you. No thank you and good evening. <laughs> and everybody was, like, shocked. 
Um, she left. She was like, we can still work on being together, but I can't do it. I got a full now. I got, got a full confidence, a new love. Cause remember she was insecure and the new love is herself. And Ollie was shocked. Ollie was like, what? Who? I'm confused. And it's like, because I feel like they were supposed to, maybe they made a deal that, uh, he, she wouldn't let him get like villainized for dumping her and maybe he forgot what the plan was but because remember Catherine dumped him before he could dump her and then he let down demi dumped him before he could dump her and she gets to go off and do whatever she want to do and he gets to be the good guy even when he was thanking everybody for showing up and our love's gonna take a different path nothing seems genuine about all y'all i'm sorry it's it no, 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 no. Last but not least, we have Freddie and Catherine, the demon incarnate. <laughs> she, it's, it's like Catherine can't stand Freddie being happy, smiling, uh, ha- like validating himself, nothing. And then there was the big tee hee hee about um, the prenup or whatever. Um, Freddie got, you can tell Freddie got money and Freddie looked the F good. He looked good. He in shape. And I guess maybe he didn't look that way all the time. He kind of did one of those glow ups or whatever. And his sister looked like she want to warn him to run the hell out of there, but she ain't say nothing. They went up there. Catherine all happy. And she's like, thank you. <laughs> and Freddie with a straight face. You can tell Freddie is a funeral director. I'm going to say why in a second. Um, Freddie said, I love you. Every time somebody says, I love you, they about to say no. So if you get up there and you about to marry somebody and they say, I love you before they say any, I do, they about to break up with you. Just, just a heads up. Love is blind. UK taught you. But anyways, Freddie gets up there and he's like, um, I love you, Catherine, but there's some things I've seen. I gotta, you know, make sure we can keep going. Boy, Catherine mean when you act like you like her what you think when she thinks you rejected her she leaves um runs out she didn't want the father to follow her or whatever um then freddie went and apologized to the family but the way he went and apologized to the family it was like he was doing a the bereavement or whatever for it was the way he sat down i know this is a sad time and i said freddie the funeral director you fine but I, 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 i don't know and then, so she, he went and apologized to the parents. He went and apologized to her. She took out the earrings that he gave her before they got married or whatever. She was like, your actions are speaking louder than your words. I don't know if I can do this. Catherine, no. But the sister came over there and told him he did the right thing. You know, he was acting, he was saying he was going to give his money to his sister anyway. And that was it. They said, uh, they, Freddie said no. She said yes. She said she was embarrassed. I feel like she was more embarrassed than anything because she couldn't stand Freddie even breathing or whatever. So then they showed like the ending with everybody saying, oh, it's all right. I'm happy now. And Tom still with the lies. Tom, no. And um, <laughs> Tom with the lies. Freddie's going off into the sunset. They probably going to bring his fine self on the perfect match. But Nothing is real on the perfect match either. Sorry, Netflix. We know y'all out there out there to smash and, and cause records. So none of that's gonna happen. But what they ended it with was with um Bobby and Jasmine. And I thought it was so cute how they were dancing and they ended it with Bobby's um song. And I'm like, okay, she got a body like a dancer. Hey, she got a body like a dance. I said, okay, this a this a bop a little bit. So that was a good ending to my day after I felt like, you know, we were just plummeting in front of the sky and I made it here. I'm happy to be alive and here to be talking to y'all. Have y'all seen Love is Blind UK episode 10 and 11? Let me know what y'all think. Leave me a comment. Did you guess right? With that being said, love who loves you and may God bless you with everything that you need. And the CPS scholar is out. I love y'all in real life. Bye.